road to recovery has brought a group of former soldiers together looking to compete in the world's toughest sports car race. Ash Hall was working as a bomb disposal expert in Afghanistan when he lost both legs in an explosion. My job was to go out and search for IEDs um, and then on the 9th of July in 2010 I found one but a slightly odd way. Ended up standing on it, which resulted in losing both my legs, um, thumb and fingers from my left hand, uh, fractured pelvis, broken back, partially collapsed lung, attached retina, this goes on and on and on. His teammate Martin Compton is also lucky to be alive. He suffered burns to 75% of his body when his tank was blown up in Afghanistan. As I, as I got to the village, they basically had been waiting there and set an IED off as we, as we drove in and that blew my wagon in half basically um, and unfortunately killing the guys in it. Um, because of that they then shot rocket grenades at me um, and somehow I managed to climb out of all of that with the rubble all over me and obviously then on, on fire um, and then getting into cover I was shot twice. The team took part in a 45 minute race at Le Mans last year in a support category. Both drivers are convinced they can be on the start line for the 24-hour race within two years. It's definitely doable. Uh, the team has come on leaps and bounds from its inception, like 2015. We started off with one car, no garage, two people. And the team's grown to a race truck. The BMWs you see behind me, the Polo and the flagship of the team. The Aston Martin GT4, so getting to Le Mans, it's not a, a question of if, it's a question of when. Having already overcome so much in their lives, the members of the team are also mentoring the next generation of drivers. Their newly launched academy for disabled drivers, allowing people to access motorsport at entry level and use it as a tool for rehab and recovery. Paul Vanderwerf, Al Jazeera.